Howdy, and welcome to a how-to video on canine and equine ECG or electrocardiogram. ECG stands for electrocardiogram. It's a simple non-invasive test that graphs the electrical impulses of the heart over time. It detects minor disturbances in the heartbeat or rhythm. The setup consists of three electrodes that create three leads. Each lead, one electrode to another, represents a single axis of activity. To create the leads and monitor a single axis of electrical activity, we set the electrodes up in a specific manner that will recreate dipoles, or separation of charges. The ECG is a report of the orientation and magnitude of the cardiac dipole from several different points of view, and they change as the atrium ventricles depolarize. Lead 1 is created by placing an electrode on the right arm, which will be negative, and another electrode on the left arm, which will be positive. The second lead is recreated when placing an electrode on the right arm, which is negative, and on the left leg, which is positive. The third lead is created from an electrode that's placed on the left arm, which is negative, and the left leg, which is positive. Now we will demonstrate for you how to set up and run your very own ECG. We'll have a very cute canine volunteer for the canine ECG and a horse model for the equine ECG. When running an ECG, make sure you are familiar with the system you are using and what additional items you may need. The one we are working with today requires the use of gel on the electrodes, while others may require alcohol or nothing at all. The patient is placed in right lateral recumbency and the electrodes are placed on the elbows and knees. The electrodes are color coded and go to a specific area on the canine. The white lead is the right arm, the black lead is the left arm, and the red lead is the left leg. A good way to remember this is, white is always right for the right arm, and smoke over fire for the black and red electrodes on the left arm and leg. If the electrodes are not set up correctly, your ECG will look odd, such as the QRS complex will be upside down. When doing an ECG on a horse, there are a couple of differences from the canine ECG. The horse will be standing and the setup and placement of the electrodes is different. It is important to remember where to put the electrodes. To remember the electrode setup for the horse ECG, I like to think red goes with blood, so it must be on the jugular. And white and weathers both start with W, so the white electrode goes on the withers. Then you're left with the black electrode, and that one goes on the heart. Now we will hit the highlights on how you read the ECG printout. The first wave is known as the P wave and represents the atria depolarization or contracting. Depolarization is initiated by electrical impulses from the sinoatrial node. The atria contract and fill the ventricles with blood. The next segment following the P wave is known as the QRS complex and represents the contraction of the ventricles. After the SA node simulates the atria to contract, the depolarization wave continues to the AV node, which sends an electrical impulse down the ventricles, causing both to contract. The last component is the T wave, and this represents the ventricles repolarizing in which they relax, getting ready for the next depolarization wave. We hope this short tutorial has helped you understand how to run and interpret an ECG reading. Thanks and gig'em!